Right, first of the day, where are we at? We are at Brooklyn Pizza Crew. Now these are, um, see them on Instagram, look banging. It's an American Brooklyn, obviously, style pizza. Something we don't really get much here in the UK. And have they cracked it? I don't know. I don't know what the real thing tastes like. So I'm just going to make my judgment on what I have today. But I'm super keen to go to America, uh, which I've publicised. So this is going to be a cracking review to see um, if there's a difference in the source of style or is it just they just literally branded the name Brooklyn. Do you know what I mean? You put American style pizza and is it, does that make it American? Probably not, but I'm really keen. Looks like a cracking little pop-up style shop. Hella chopped to going over. It's like an amazing little pop-up shop and the, the content they're putting out on Instagram looks incredible as well. So, uh, took us a little while to get it down. Let's get it. Three hours. Three two hours, hours, two and a half, three hours, a long time. Um, so, we're keen to see what it's like, so fingers crossed this goes alright. How's business been? It's been good. The first, uh, the first nine months were really hard. And then Covid came and we... That's good. Good. So, that's the owner. Heard we're here, come down to see us. Um, I think nervously asking what we thought. Well, I don't think you're disappointed. Still chowing down. Honestly, Callum, it's delicious. But actually, I actually think, Jess, this slice is better than my first slice. <laughs> I've never had a pizza like this. I have one slice. Apple bacon. One yeah, slice? We're making pie, you can have one slice. You can all have one. All right. She said she could do a 12 inch. Did you just say apple and bacon? Mm. On a pizza? Oh yeah. Yeah. Apple and bacon. Well. We'll find out. <laughs> apple bacon, hey. fresh mozzarella. I really like this one. Parmigiano, Reggiano, bacon, crushed walnuts, gorgonzola and apples. Today's route. This is good. <laughs> Talk to me about the route and why we've planned it like this today. You wanted to come here. Mm -hmm. So we and Callum just literally looked for places around here. Tried to make it within a half an hour drive. Well, for each place? All of them, if we drive to all of them, one after the other, it'll take us 33 minutes. Yeah. So that's where we lose most of our time, isn't it? We have to drive. So we're going to here, the Halal Drive, Jollibee, Morley's. Morley's and Butchies, all the E's. Lots of chicken shops today, but. Mm. This pizza is really good. So, pizza's nearly gone. <laughs> and we have four more reviews. That's how the taxi do that. It's just too good. That's what everyone says. Do you eat all the food? No, I know. What you see. Trouble is, <laughs> today. Inside room, but I didn't have any breakfast ah. or anything to drink. Come out, and I've had my third slice. When I say third slice, the slice is this <laughs> big. I've <laughs> had three pizzas. How many reviews we've we got to do today? Four more. Four more. By the end of the day, they'll be getting like twos and threes. Good one, but <laughs> 15 out of 10. I think I like all of the pieces individually, but whether it goes on a pizza or not, I don't know. But look, each to their own. Apple, bacon, walnuts, gorgonzola. They're pretty good. They're really? They're pretty good. That apple and bacon, though, what did you think? We were a bit hesitant at first. Oh, it's different. It was different, totally different. The um, I think it needed more apple or another sweeter option on there. Where am I going here? Right, because 
it was a lot going on. A lot of different flavours. I think it needed something sweet just to level it off. For someone who I enjoy sweet food, so just my opinion, I suppose. Someone else might not have liked the, have liked it how it was, you know. I feel like the wa walnuts definitely helped. The, like it gave it a nice texture. The toasted walnut well. was lovely. Yeah. I don't like walnuts, but they were right. Good for texture. Good for texture. We didn't like it. <coughs> I'm pretty sure you only had one bite. I had two bites. Little nibbles. Little schnibble schnibbles. <laughs> Considering how apprehensive we were, I think it actually was surprising. It didn't it didn't sound up my alley at all, and I'm gonna be honest, it I'd never ever pick that. But fair play to them for trying. They're experimenting, they're trying new things, and they've got a great menu, so uh, kudos to them. So we've got butchies here. The loud guys there, what's the one down the street? Uh, Jollibee's. Jollibee's. All within five minutes of each other. Yeah, that's sick. That's so good. People think this is all like so paid for, uh, advertising, everything. We've literally we've made this, you guys have made this up, haven't you? We looked at one street, thought, wow, we've got three wicked places to do there. We do ting. Yes! <laughs> Butchies. Hello, guys. What's the other one called again? Jollibee's. Jollibee's. All the chickens. <laughs> Get my terrible shorts in. <laughs> this is a nice part of town, isn't it? A lot of stuff going on there. We're at Butchies. Butchies, Butchies, Butchies. Buttermilk fried chicken. Um, these are notoriously buttermilk fried chicken places. Very good. Normally, we'll see how the bun is, the flavours, the sauces. Excited. Second room of the day, I'm already full. This is bad news. Bad, bad news. Because then we've got uh, four more to do. <laughs> Send help. Send help. Um, all right, cool. What's with the, the prop? My table. So we're in London and we have a quiet table. Just pulled it outside the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> and it might be pretty cool back to face said absolutely no problem. I'm going to get in the way though, aren't I? Sorry, mate. Second review of the day, another high score. Feeling full yet? Yeah, mate, this is the problem. That was really, that food was really good. Um, loved it. Did you see the chicken burger? Oh, it looked look, sensational. Oh, no, look, sorry, Jess. Look at the, look at that like, sort of like gnarly outer coating on that. It's crazy. It's like little crispy daggers, which give you that sort of crunch, that juiciness of the chicken in, encapsulated on the inside. I didn't know what to get. There's, they've got quite a few different chicken burgers. We've got like a barbecue one, uh, some other double stackers. I just went for the OG, like the, the basic, the OG. That little pickle on the inside of that, a little amount of lettuce as a palate cleanser and that little sauce on top. That chicken on the inside, unbelievable. Really, really good. And then the wings as well. Mac and cheese was a little bit small, by the way, but £4.50 for that. It's probably where they make their money though, so I can't really knock them for it. Um, big old wings. Big old flats. Frank sauce didn't not, not gonna ruin the wings with that. No disrespect, but it's quite vinegary. Um, but yeah, butchies, really good. Really good. The only problem you have now is that we're going just there. No rest for the wicked. Man's a professional. Okay. It's not bad value really. One pound eighty five for peanuts peanuts emojis. <laughs> He's just come out and bought me that and gone. <laughs> you can eat that. Can't Listen, see it's so shiny. It's fish. <laughs> it's not. It's not. Uh, it's, it's not human food. Is it just? Look, my dog wouldn't eat that. I think that is. I think that is human.
chicken and beef, alright? I haven't eaten off that. Is this gonna kill oh, me? That, that's good. Yeah. You like your hot stuff, don't you? Hot? Oh. Let's go now. He like launched the bloody fork in my mouth in the review. <laughs> I see why they said not too, too much. <laughs> yeah, but the guy in the queue <laughs> said to me, "Careful of the hot sauce. It'll blow you. It'll blow your head off." I'm pretty sure the guy uh, at the front of the counter just said, "White sauce? No, yeah, the hot sauce. Well, you got to say if it's that kind of hot." <laughs> right. yeah, he was. He put a sprinkle. I might ask for more. He didn't, he didn't tell me to oh. swerve it because it's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> he just thought you like hot sauce. Bro, there's hot sauce hot. and there's fing <laughs> hot sauce. <laughs> Unbelievable. What, what, what did you think of it? Loved it, loved it, loved it. Like oh. nothing about it screams particular quality, but it's fresh. It's like, it's fresh and it's fun. It's a perfect lunch, all coming in one big thing. You got bread, you got salad, you got rice, you got beef, chicken. You know what I mean? That, that uh, white sauce is great. That kind of that spiced mayonnaise. Really, really fun. Well, my mouth's still fine. <laughs> I can't believe you put me through that. It's good, isn't it? Adam's absolutely chowing down now. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> oh, that my tongue. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm not even <laughs> What do you think, though? Oh, it's good. But the hot sauce. Oh. <laughs> One of those is running like mad. On oh. to the next <coughs> one. Yay! Same guy in there who told me about the uh, insane hot sauce. I said, he said, if you try a jolly bean, I was like, I might go the next. He said, it's it's uh, fried chicken, but a bit funky. They serve like fried chicken with spaghetti and stuff. What? <laughs> I feel sick now. <laughs> the trouble is, when you have three slices of pizza at your first review, you're not setting yourself up for a brilliant race, are you? Well, I'm going to say it's a marathon, not a sprint. I've literally got out of the blocks in the first one there and um, done myself in. I'm just, the white sauce is just pulling my tongue down. Day behind the scenes in London done. Got four reviews done today, absolutely loved the content, and to be fair, the standard was pretty good today. So uh, we're over the moon about that. <clears throat> Hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit the subscribe button. Please get in the comments and let me know what you want to see next, where you'd like us to go. But yeah, I think we've ticked off some pretty cool places there. I'm full as an egg. We've done four, ready for bed. It's been a great day. Thanks for watching, everyone. And there we go.